mean, I hit the jump. Played a bit slowly against this guy. Hit the charm. Dead as well. Can look for this angle. Flash! No, I misplayed! But we hit the charm! Is it enough? No, I missed the Q! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hello guys, as you might remember in the last video I uploaded, I said that I would be flying to Poland to be on stage for the finals of the Ultra Liga. As you can see here, I was on stage. We absolutely got blasted. 3-0, we lost very hard. Gonna go to EU Masters soon, hopefully. Oh, well, not hopefully. We are going to EU Masters soon. But yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. And I appreciate you for supporting me. If you want to check it out, feel free. And hopefully enjoy this Ari commentary. Enjoy. Also, subscribe. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another mid lane commentary. Today, we're going to be playing the strongest mid lane on the patch, which, as you all know, is definitely Ari. We're still on patch 14.6. So, of course, this is just still the best mid laner of the patch. Looks like we're doing a bit of an invade situation here. I don't mind starting Charm here, maybe I can get the Lux Flash, would be pretty good. Ah, oh, getting her barrier is good enough as well. Getting first blood is even better, yeah, I'll absolutely take that. Makes sense that we start Charm then. Ideally, the way that I wanted to play a matchup like this, because usually what I like doing against Control Mage matchups, is I like starting Q, trying to get push and force the enemy to burn a lot of mana to last hit, maybe lose some health, but it's completely fine, and then take two points in Q at level three, go for an early crash, and then uh, you can reset uh, without being too far down in health. That's what I usually like doing, but of course now we have an E start, so probably not going to be possible, but we're gonna play the lane a bit slowly at the start. I'm gonna hit the minions as many times as possible. We're not really gonna look for any trades with the Lux. Doesn't benefit us, especially when we don't have our W available. Like with Charm, it's kind of impossible to look for a trade level one unless you're playing against a melee champion. So we're just gonna play slowly, make sure that we get our last hits. We can take a point in Q level two. I think that makes sense to me. Just start firing some poke at the Lux. I could space a bit more aggressively here, maybe. Try to see if I can land some poke on her, but in reality, I'm just. I'm just going to sit back and make sure that I get my last hits. That's the most instructive thing that I can tell you guys if you're at the lower end of the ladder. Just get your last hits. Push the wave and get your last hits. That's what matters. You don't need to look for any crazy plays. I am going to try to play as disciplined as possible and not force any insane trades this game. And just play for push. Eventually just have a CS advantage. And then just win the game by roaming. That's, that's kind of the game plan of Ari, right? So we're going to shove this out. I'm going to do double points in Q here. Like I said, I generally speaking really like uh, running double points in Q. I can walk up here a bit aggressively if I want to. Lux is going to miss some minions under tower. Just going to look for a charm on her. Quick little combo. I'm not going to do anything else underneath the tower. I don't have any spells available. I'm just going to walk into the enemy jungle. See if I can maybe find an Evelyn somewhere. More than likely, she is going to be on her bottom side. Okay. So she's likely on her bot side. I don't really bleed anything for going for this nice and deep ward. It's kind of nothing I lose out from it, so I don't mind doing it. But you just have to make sure when you go for wards, try to calculate how much time you have until you need to be back mid lane to make sure you don't lose minions. And I'm just going to toss out Qs as well. We're actually just going to keep pushing the wave. Lux doesn't seem to be really trying to take control over the lane, so I'm going to abuse that fact and just push every wave. Even if I take damage... Completely fine. Because eventually, if I just keep having the push, right, I can just take a base whenever I want to. And Lux doesn't seem to be trying to fight me for the push, so... We're in a good spot. Look, even if I get hit by that, that's fine. I'm gonna trade back with her because she is on cooldown. So, now we have a massive health advantage as well. Is Evelyn bot side? Because then I can move. Again, that's the benefit of you having the push. You can always move to a play. And I just have a 7 CS advantage now. Haven't done anything crazy. I'm just going to shove out this wave now. And now we're going to take our base. Because we have quite low mana, right? So we probably need to get a base off here. And you can even charm the cannon minion. And then just base. And now Lux is stuck under tower here. Doing nothing. I'm going to base. I could stay one more wave if I really wanted to. Someone just took this thing. I could actually TP mid lane here. I think I will TP mid lane here. The argument for TPing mid lane here is I just bought CDR boots, which means TP is a lower cooldown, and I can deny Lux a wave if I TP mid here. I am shocked that she's not basing here, but I'm just going to keep pushing. I could probably look for a solo kill here by spacing very aggressively, going for a charm here or something like that, like a charm flash, and it would more than likely catch her. But I'm not going to do that because I want to showcase that you can win games without solo killing mid lane. And the way you win games as Ari without solo killing mid, I mean, this isn't the most obvious angle possible, right? Like, 
Charm Flash and she's likely dead even though she has Barrier. But I want to show, push wave, win game. You know, that's, that's, that's the idea of this video. Just push the waves and win the game. Now we have level 6, we're going to look for a bot side play here. Even if I'm not going to commit to the roam here, I want to take some control over the enemy bot side here. Grab some wards in the enemy jungle. Uh, we could dive here if my bot lane wants to. Looks like they don't. That's okay. That's fine. I could have gotten this mid lane plate instead. Could argue that I should have gone for that. Especially considering that we're uh, on grubbies here as well. If I have to move over for this play, I will do so. I just thought that maybe like this bot lane play should have been possible, I think. Um, but we just didn't really look for it. So, that's fine. Gonna maybe look for a charm on her here. Ah, I'll miss it. That's fine by me. I'll just hit the tower a little bit. Take some poke as well, right? We always love taking poke. Probably gonna shove the next wave. I could move over for this play as well, because it looks like the enemy team is on the grubbies here, but... Nah, looks like we're not gonna play for it. That's fine by me. I'm just gonna shove the waves. That's okay. I mean, I can move up if we want to try to fight it. I have first move. Okay. I'll base in this bush, I think. Looks pretty good to me. Oh no, this is just spawned. Then I can go grab this. I have time where I can move. Or oh, I can actually go for this top lane play. I don't think Darius would expect it. This roam looks really good to me. Oh, don't use charm instantly. Then you can follow up after they flash. Miss the charm. But doesn't really matter. We still get the kill. Wasn't too cleanly played. Looks like Lux probably took her base mid lane. So I'm going to base mid lane or base as well. Because I have lost chapter. Yeah. She stole the grabs. My pink ward bot lane was cleared, so I'm going to pick up a new pink ward. That's fine by me. We're just going to run back to mid lane. Remember, use your W when you run to lane. Get that muscle memory of just spamming the W on your way back to lane. It's a little bit faster, but usually it means that you get to lane like one or two seconds sooner, and you don't really lose anything. You lose 30 mana every time you use it. Like, does that really matter? No, not really. And again... I'm not really going to interact too much with the Lux here, I just want to push. Even though, realistically, what you should be doing here when you don't have your ult available, uh, play very heavily for interactions as Ari, or play very heavily for your lane. But, I want to showcase that you can win the game just by pushing. And all you gotta do is just push. Because pushing means you control the map. It means you control mid lane. So just don't interact with the enemy laner, just push and then leave. That's all we're going to do. I'm not necessarily going to commit to any roams, but I will grab wards, I will grab vision in the enemy jungle, and then we're going to see Evelyn every time. I usually do ban Evelyn, though. I, like That champion is a bit obnoxious in solo queue. Or maybe I have to move down here, because there's going to be an Evelyn here. But that's fine by me. Missed the charm? Oh, we hit the charm. Maybe can kill the Evelyn here? I mean, she has to ult out, right? Yeah, and I almost have my ult available. I mean... Can play for my ult, right? Nice, clean play. Don't really feel the need to commit to anything else here, to be honest. I'm just gonna return to mid lane. I made my play happen, and I'm just gonna run back to mid lane. Back to gathering resources. This guy needs to make sure he doesn't die to the Lux here, by the way. That would be a very embarrassing death. Okay, Lux flash, not bad. I don't have anything else, so I don't see the need to continue playing. Like, just return back to mid lane and keep pushing. Like, as Ari, you only really want to force plays whenever you have your ult available. And you can get away with doing that, especially at the lower end of the ladder. Like, only force plays on your timers. Don't force plays when you don't have ult or if you don't have a good timer to move. So we're just going to take this plate. Look for a charm on the Lux. Blast one of those in her forehead. And trades are obviously great, because trading means that if you take the enemy's health, it's a lot easier to get the push. Because Lux is going to feel way more uncomfortable contesting the wave now. She is feeling quite confident and cocky, but should be fine. I would like to play for Malignant here. Realistically speaking, I could base here as well because my ult is on cooldown. But I think I can play for the next wave. She's probably just going to ult us, right? I could play for my ult and then just commit with an ult on her. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to space pretty aggressively just to make it annoying for her to eat us. And there we go. Then she bleeds these three minions, you know. Kind of nice. And then we're just going to shove out this wave. Mm, maybe have to take our base here anyway. That kind of feels bad. One more wave maybe. Grubbies are spawning soon. One more wave feels very greedy, but it would be uh, 
it would be malignant, so I think it's worth it. And we have teleport as well. You can be very greedy with your reset timers when you have teleport available, right? You can take resets that technically are bad and greedy, but specifically because you have teleport available, it's okay. So we're just gonna take our base here. I don't see any plays on the map. Like I could maybe, oh, I could have ran top lane and dove this to be honest. Oh, wait, uh, I, I can ult that, sure. Wasn't really paying attention. Okay, I mean, I got her flash as well, I guess. I'm gonna just sit here with Rengar, because if Evelyn shows, we can charm her. I don't like that Rengar is leaving. Okay, it works. So, another fun fact for you. While you teleport, you generate 8 gold. So wait until you need 8 gold, and then press your teleport, and then spam click buy, and then boom, look, you get it right as you appear. It's a little fun fact, you generate 8 gold while you TP. Not a lot of people know this, but it's very useful to know. It just means you can kind of min-max your teleport. We're gonna keep shoving the waves. The one thing that really sucks about getting ganked in those spots is losing your ult means it's very hard to force anything proactive. Lux is going for a bot lane roam, but she's roaming on a pretty bad timer. Even if she gets a kill here in the bottom lane or a double kill, is it really good? Like, yeah, your bot lane gets ahead, but you're bleeding a lot mid lane for that play. And you only got one assist. Look, you're bleeding an entire wave. You're bleeding an entire plate. Mm, I don't know if I like that play by Lux. If she pushed the wave first, would have been completely fine with it. Because I wouldn't be able to really generate any advantage off of it. But that's what I tell you guys. Push your waves before you go for roams. You bleed way too much. Unless you really, really know what you're doing. You end up just bleeding too much going for, um, going for those types of roams. For example here, I can probably even take yet another plate. Not a bad angle by her, but unfortunately I just get another plate. Gonna run bot side here. Yeah, I kind of expected that. I wanted to ward there because there's a world where I can catch the Lux. But you can see, I haven't done anything really. I've been pushing the waves, that's it. Taking decent resets, and now I have a 50 CS advantage mid lane. Just out of that. Out of thin air. Probably gonna take my base here, actually. I wanted to look for a roam on the top side, but it doesn't look possible. So I'm just gonna base instead. Base instead, grab a Phoenix Codex, and we're gonna be running... Oh, that does not build into Lich Bane. Damn, I really like running Lich Bane second. I thought that built into it. Yeah, that's my bad. Well, regardless, we're gonna push out mid lane here. And then we're probably just gonna look at bot lane. Is this diveable? I don't think so. So I'm gonna run top lane instead. I think we can probably just CC this Darius to death. Especially with... Um, Garen ult. So I'm actually gonna just run up here. And we can probably force a dive here. Oh, well. If it's pink, then obviously not. Then we just leave. Then we just turn around and run back to mid lane. And that's the risk you run when you roam, right? You run into a ward, well, you're spotted. So you have to just say, yeah, that was my roam. I cleared a ward on the enemy team, and that was it. And now you have to run back to mid lane to collect the wave, which obviously this gives Lux a roam timer. So obviously not great to end up in one of uh, those situations, but it's fine. Bot lane is not looking too great either. My Jin is falling behind and the enemy team does have a smolder, which is quite scary. Again, Lux is trying to poke us down, but do we really care? No, we're just going to shove the wave and leave. How is bot looking? Nah, there might be a play available. Oh, I think Evelyn might be on our wraiths, actually. She seems like the type. No, she's not. Shocking. Oh, and top lane got double killed. I haven't really been able to find any good roams, to be honest. Hmm. I think shove out one more wave, and then maybe can run top. That guy is unkillable. Ah, not a bad play by Lux. I'm not dead, so I'm just gonna shove the wave anyway. But not a bad play to chunk me, to be honest. Means that I can't really do anything. So I will just base. Uh, probably base. Yeah, base and then look for um, this item. Need my Dark Seal as well. I love getting Dark Seal. Absolutely love getting Dark Seal. I'm gonna pick up a Sweeper at this point. This is the stage of the game where you definitely want that Sweeper. We're playing 10 CS per minute Ari mid lane, but we're not doing a whole lot early. Which sucks, because I, generally speaking, really like being able to go for like high value plays. This is definitely fightable. We have Nami, and she has ult available, and I'm very strong on this timer as well. Who do we focus? Probably Lux. Can we get a CC maybe? Nice, Evelyn dead. Look for Darius next. Look for Lux next. D Darius is already dead. Nice, Lux is dead as well. And that's just the game turning play right there. The enemy team just threw by going for that Herald. The game is over now. The game is completely over. Like the enemy team is completely cooked. 
Because we get mid lane tower here. <clears throat> and we get first tower mid here, and we probably get a top tower as well. Completely cooked the enemy team. Uh, I need a little bit more gold for my horizon focus, so I'm going to grab one more wave mid lane, and then I'm going to take my base. I don't have alt available, so I don't think roaming bot lane here makes a whole lot of sense. If I had alt available, I would instantly run bot lane here, by the way. But when you don't have alt available as Ari, remember, you are a caster main, so don't go for any crazy plays. So I will just take my base here. I can probably TP... Oh, actually... Oh, oh. oh hmm. I mean, I can probably look for bot lane play here. I can cut them off and I'll have ult up as well. I think it's good. I can early ult this. I think it's fine. Nice. Evelyn is here somewhere as well. Okay, that's fine. I can base here. I think that's okay. Base here and then probably teleport mid lane if Lux pushes. If Lux doesn't push, we will just run mid lane. Gonna look for death cap next. So the name of the game now is we want to try to break this bot lane tower and the way we're gonna do that is by continuing to shove out mid, shove out mid lane, and then run bot lane. I probably should have actually gone Merc Treads this game, just judging by the enemy team comp. It's Lux and Evelyn. Missed the cannon, that kind of sucks. I don't actually... Th I mean, I could ult on the Lux here, for sure. I think she might be killable here, because I don't think she has barrier up quite yet. But I could also just force a play on the top side. Now, this is a very instructive play. I'm gonna force a play top side, and I have teleport in case we need to contest the Drake. Not gonna waste anything. Gonna wait until the charm is guaranteed, and now I'm gonna run back mid lane. I could teleport down here to contest the Drake. The problem is my Nami just died and my Jin is in base, so it's probably not a winning fight. But you can look for these side lane plays when you have teleport available. And look at how much that gives my Garen. Look at how much my Garen gains from that. He gained a full inner tower, and he's gonna grab this wave as well. I'm worried that I'm getting caught uh, by Evelyn here. I mean, this fight is like, there's no way we can do anything. But look at how much my Garen generates from that. Just that one gank top lane here, he just got such a massive gold swing. And I can probably walk down and even look for a play here, because I think Milio and Smolder backed. So this is absolutely fightable. It's a 2v2. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Look for Evelyn. Miss the charm. It's fine. Play it slow against the Lux. Make sure that we use our ult to get her. Um, Caught with the second end of the queue, and now we can base. Look at that. Just look! Look! We're just tearing the map apart. The enemy team has no idea what they're doing. Go for my death cap next. I might have to teleport mid lane here to defend the tower, but looks like Garen is running mid lane, so it's actually fine. Uh, I suppose I will run top. I don't know why Garen is running mid. I think that's a mistake. I think Jin should be the one playing mid lane here. I could TP bot here. Uh, Jin is just dead, so I will run bot lane in time to cover, I suppose. I think that makes sense to me. I mean, maybe this will scare them off? No, not really. I mean, Jin missed the W, so that's kind of unfortunate. He has ult. Play it slow, play it slow. Wait, we have ult soon, we have ult. Commit with an ult, one ult, two ults, three ults, and dead. And now we can pick up this tower as well while we're at it. And look, we've played the game pretty slowly, but we're still just completely 1v9ing the game. Looks like Jin wants to keep playing bot lane, so I will run mid lane here to collect the wave. That's fine by me. I would have preferred Jin to take his base there, and then me to pressure this tower, and Jin to open through mid lane, but if he wants to hit that tower, you know, then he wants to hit that tower. Yeah, that, that Lux Binding for sure hit me, by the way. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man, that, that Lux Binding hit. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, we could look for this tower... Problem is Lux can kind of wave clear. Oh. You hit the binding and you missed the ult? How do you miss the ult on a stun? Oh my god. Yeah. That guy is... is that, that was an April Fool's moment, you know? I'm actually just gonna commit with an ult on him. Even though it's probably not gonna kill him. I think it's fine. I want this tower. Oh. Nice! What a lineup! Ooh! Charm? Maybe I can save my Nami? Not really. My ult is running out. Ult away. Dodge into it. And then take my base here. I have death cap. I can TP out onto the map again if need be. And these guys are feeling like a little bit silly, goofy, and April Foolsy. I don't really know. This is April Fool's queue, that's for sure. But happy Easter, fellas. Happy Easter, I guess. Gonna open through bot lane here. I have teleport available. So I like going side lane. 
Sometimes, as Ari, right, opening through mid lane is really nice because you can find these angles on the enemy team and they're not going to expect you on the mid lane. But if you have teleport available, you can also just stay disciplined and run side lane, pressure that side lane, and then take control over this quadrant of the jungle and look for angles on the enemy team. Super, super instructive. This is a very disciplined way of playing it. I don't think it's the most optimal way of playing in solo queue uh, because people obviously grief on the mid wave, like very heavily, like there's usually a lot of fights happening here, but it is the most disciplined approach. So you push this out, then you sweep this area, and then you wait for someone to come bot lane, or you go find an angle here, for example. Then you find a free kill because you have control of the enemy side of the jungle. Oh, could be behind me. If she is, then I'm screwed. It's gonna blind charm. Some older flash, that's fine. I can base here for a Magi's as well, or I could keep pressuring bot lane here. Continuing to pressure bot lane looks fine because Smolder is going to cancel his base. Yes, sir. And then if I hit a Q, he is dead. Didn't hit that Q, so that sucks. But it's fine, we can just keep pushing. Probably base here and then look to teleport with Magi's. Looks really good. I could teleport top lane. Could teleport mid lane as well if we want to like pressure the tower. I would like to wait until I have ult up. I'm actually just going to TP on the cannon. TP on the cannon means that we get the tower for free, so that's good. Can look for a play here for sure. Oh, need to play this a little bit slowly. Uh, Evelyn kind of just killed my backline, I suppose? Not really sure what happened there. Can maybe play this a bit slowly? I don't quite have ult yet, so it's a bit awkward. Oh, we're playing this, okay. I mean, I can Q. Can you ult? Okay, look for charm on someone. Okay, I might have to flash here. Depends how they play it. Play it a bit slow. I don't have ult up yet, so just play it slow. Okay, clear the wards. Probably take our base here. We don't want to give over a massive shutdown. Would be a bit inconvenient, I can't lie. I could actually... Oh no, we're going to go for a banger of a play here. Someone is going to run up top lane and catch this way. It's worded. That sucks. Never mind them. I wanted to catch someone up on this wave because I was very confident someone would come here. Okay, sure, man. Maybe loop here? Can catch, maybe? Oh. Might be an angle here. Yeah, yeah, there's an angle for sure. Oh my god! We're playing solid snake here, man! We're just dodging around their vision lines and then catching them on the side lane. Oh, that was beautiful. That was great. Probably need to be a bit careful here because Evelyn does sh one shot me. But uh, I think Baron rushes a bit much. But I think open through mid here looks good to me and just play Drake. I almost have ult up again. Enemy team probably wants to contest this. Oh, there's an Evelyn here. She's gonna loop around and she's gonna try to take our blue buff and then I'm gonna kill her. Oh, she's on the top wave. I can catch her. I might have to ult early, but that's fine. Mm, flash. Mm, miss. Just run. Run! Fly, you fool! Well, Evelyn, flash. That sucks. Missed the charm as well. But again, perfect example of why you don't ult and then insta charm. Because someone will probably flash it, you know? We're gonna go probably Banshees next. I like Banshees. Also, look at how much AP I have. Sheesh, that's a lot. Uh, probably open through mid lane here. Doesn't look terrible. I can find an angle here. We're also pressuring bot side quite heavily. Probably also want to play for Baron here. But that means controlling top side matters a lot more than controlling bot side. So probably want to sit up here actually instead. Very important that you play towards the side of the map that you actually want to control. Like the quadrant of the next big neutral objective. Very, very important. So we want to control this quadrant. So we're going to sweep this area. Probably should have used my sweeper a little bit later. But we're gonna sit here and we're gonna see if we can catch someone on the mid wave. I could probably one shot this guy. If I hit the charm. And I hit that. And I hit the charm. Play it a bit slowly against this guy. Hit the charm. Dead as well. Can look for this angle. Flash! No, I misplayed! But we hit the charm! Is it enough? I missed the Q! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
Yeah, those were not some pretty skill shots, that's for sure. I wanted to flash to redirect my Q behind the Milio. But I should have flashed earlier, because the Q already started flying back. But look! Did you see how slowly I played the laning phase? Think about how slowly I played the laning phase, right? Think, just, just think about that. I played the lane incredibly slowly. And still I ended up dropping 15 kills. 15 and 0. Patience, guys. Patience during the early game on Ari. Do not feel the need to go for every single play. Like, that is the absolute biggest piece of advice that I can give you on Ari. Do not be afraid to play it slowly. Be patient. If you cannot see any good angles during the early stage, then take it slow. Play 10 CS per minute, get your one item, and then it's a lot easier to be a lot more relaxed with the plays that you're forcing. You know, you can force a lot more plays because your ult is lower cooldown and you will have more opportunities. But during the early stages, be very conservative with the amount of plays you're willing to force. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. See ya.